Let me make this very clear. When you turn on HDR on Windows, most of the SDR content is going to look wrong, okay? Incorrect, washed out, near black, just too bright, and it's a mess, okay? Now, here is the solution. I'm going to share with you an ICC profile that you can download to fix that problem. And it's going to work for all TVs and monitors, okay? So now, the reason why I say most of the SDR content is because it is not always the case. And I'm going to show you here an example where that doesn't work. And I am talking about SDR content inside HDR, okay? So you turn on HDR on Windows and you might open a game without native HDR and without auto HDR from Windows 11. Now, why would you do that? Well, because the game doesn't support native HDR or auto HDR from Windows 11, which is, is rare, but we have a lot of those too. So I'm going to show you how to fix that problem. I will show you when to use it and when not to use it, how to determine that very easily. I'm going to share the mod and, and I will show you how to get it working. Okay, it's very, very simple. You're going to come here to this page that I'm going to share with you. Come here and download this ICC profile. So now we have one, two, three, four options depending on your display. So now let's say you have a fake HDR, you know, IPS gaming monitor that's 300 nits or 400 nits. SDR is going to look better than HDR, okay, most likely, okay, especially due to the contrast, you know, the black levels. When you try to push that brightness, then the black levels are worse, so this is not worth it. Just use SDR if you have one of those monitors. Oh, but you know, give this a try. It might look better. It depends on the display. So if you have any other, you know, OLED, let's say one of these TVs or a mini LED TV or something like that, that's a lot brighter than 400 nits. Get the 400 nits is my recommendation. Get this 400 nits. So now, I am not interested in just using HDR when viewing SDR content if I don't want to push more brightness. Why would you want to do that? Okay. So some people say, no, I am interested in 100 nits because, you know, SDR is supposed to be 100 nits or 200 nits, the standard or whatever. Just use SDR. <laughs> Why would you go through the trouble of doing this? Okay. The reason to do this is to get more brightness. Why? Because it looks better. Okay, no question about that. After you get perfect blacks or, you know, the best contrast that you can get on your display, more brightness just gives you a better picture quality, period. Okay, that's the reason why you pay more money for a better display. So my recommendation is to download this 400 nits brightness 80. So what does that mean, brightness 80? So what this is referring to is... To this SDR HDR slider that we have on Windows. Okay, 80 means 80% 80 here on the slider. So now I wish that we had a calibration for a 100% brightness. Okay, why? Because it's brighter and it's better. Now I do have the option to push all the brightness using my LG C1 OLED, and I'm gonna share with you how to do that. So here's what you have to do. Download this one, 400 nits brightness, 80. And then all you have to do is go to color management. Okay, so you, you know, Windows, type in color management. And then you're going to click here where it says add. You're going to browse where this file is. And you're going to, you know, select that file and click here, add as advanced color profile. Okay, you have to tick this box, click OK, and then select that here and select set as default profile. After you do that, you're going to have the option here. Let me show you. You're going to have the option here under color profile. So you go to display settings 
And on their color profile, you're going to have this option that is called SDR, ACM, sRGB, D50, you know, gamma 2.2, whatever. So what is this doing? What this is doing, what this mod is doing, as you can read here on the page, is it is converting. It is fixing this problem that we have with Pierce-wise sRGB enforced over gamma 2.2 content. Okay, most of the games and most of the content that we have is 2.2. So the source gamma is 2.2 and Windows is enforcing this piecewise sRGB and the, the result is that you get an image that near black looks incorrect. It looks too bright near black. This is going to fix that. So now, after you do that, you can open most of the games on SDR. Like for example, I have open here God of War and it looks perfect. No problem whatsoever. This looks correct. It looks very bright. It looks awesome. No black level rays. The contrast of the image is very good. And it is a great experience. But some games, some rare exceptions might be sRGB. For example, I have opened this game here. It's called Submerge Hidden Depth from Epic Games. And... And this game is crushing. This game is sRGB. And I know that because I also tested this game with this new major paint the cactus mod using the Lilium's inverse tone mapping. And I know that sRGB was the way to go there. Okay, so this game, the gamma of the content in this case is sRGB. So what I have to do for this game is come here and default back to the HDR calibration app profile, which has that sRGB, uh, Pierce-wise sRGB gamma. And now you see it looks correct now. This looks correct now. So basically, I can play this game without native HDR, without any auto HDR tricks. I mean, there's no reason to do that because we have better options, but it just works. It's my point. It's what I'm trying to explain you, that this works because this game, Gamma, is sRGB. Now, for the majority of the games, if you want to just open them on SDR, you're just going to come here, use this profile that you loaded, and they are going to look great, like this. Now, SPES, this is for all TVs and monitors, okay? We are not talking about Auto HDR. This profile that we downloaded, this ICC profile, is set up to be 800 nits. So when we go to display settings, let me show you. When we come here to the advanced display settings, we are going to see here peak brightness 800 nits. So you might think, man, my TV is 1200 nits or 1300 nits. I need more than that. It doesn't matter. I'm talking about right now, I'm talking about SDR content inside HDR on Windows. Okay? So it doesn't matter what is the peak brightness of, of your display. Right now, this 800 nits peak brightness is completely irrelevant. What we are using for SDR content is this slider, okay? And that calibration is, is set up for this 80% slider, as you can see here on the website. On, on here, you see 400 nits, brightness 80. So what this means is that when you select 80% here on the slider, the max CLL of the content, so the brightness that the content is trying to output, the brightness that the games are trying to output, and really all the desktop uh, information is 400 nits. Okay, so this is general for all displays, all TVs and monitors. And now you can max this out, no problem. I actually tested that with a near black test pattern that I have here. It might not be visible on the recording because I mean, it's a near black test pattern. But I tested this near black test pattern, which is an SDR video. And the visibility is absolutely perfect. Okay, It's just flawless. This looks exactly the same as it looks on SDR. Okay, you know, Maybe a little bit brighter, a little bit more visibility. But what I mean is that you can see the entire near black test pattern. And if I go to my TV settings or my LGC1 and I lower the black level, 
in a single click, I'm crushing needles. And that's exactly what you want to see. So this is, this is absolutely perfect calibration. Even if I max out this SDR HDR slider. So feel free to do that. So now, specifically for LG OLED owners. If you have an LG OLED, we have the option to do tone mapping to push all the brightness. And here's what you have to do. You come here to settings, brightness. You come here and you select HDR tone mapping off. Okay, HDR tone mapping off. And then you come here where it says, uh, you know, under picture mode and you click 1113111 and you select mastering pick Max CLL 400. Why? Because you are going to get Max CLL 400. So the brightness of the content is trying to output is going to be 400 when you select here the slider 80. Okay. So by doing that, the TV with this tone mapping is going to push all the brightness. So right now, if I open a game right now, this uh, God of War, for example, this is pushing all the brightness. This is as bright as my TV can get, okay, in terms of a peak brightness. This is as bright as it gets. It doesn't get any brighter than that. It, and it might be clipping on the recording due to my, my camera settings, okay? So remember, I cannot show you exactly what I see in front of me. This might be just too bright for the camera settings that I am using, okay? And it looks very good, okay? Actually, the native HDR of God of War requires a lot of work <laughs> to make it look okay and this just this is just a hassle-free way of just enjoying your display because this is going to work for almost every single game and if it doesn't work because you're crushing all you have to do is just come here and change that you change that profile you go back to the hdr calibrated profile that the hdr calibration app created and that's it that's all you have to do. You don't have to tweak any other settings. You can basically play most of the games like that. And you are basically getting, you're basically enjoying the brightness that you pay for. That's why. Okay. Why would you want to get a brighter SDR? Because it looks better. Okay. <laughs> Bright. After you get perfect blacks, more brightness, it's just going to look better. Nobody can argue with that. It looks better. We're not talking about reference. We're not talking about accuracy. Okay. I am not interested at all about accurate SDR in terms of luminance. I don't care. Why? Because HDR looks better. I never use SDR because HDR looks better. Okay. So let's leave it there because I have a lot more to share. I have more in-depth TV settings to share to tweak the colors. I have blue light killer settings. This changes everything. Okay. I am going to do a separate video for Auto HDR. So Auto HDR has its own considerations depending on the display you have. So I will do a separate video for Auto HDR, another video for my TV calibrated settings, and another video for native HDR, okay? A spoiler alert, I believe so far, I'm still testing. This, this is not for native HDR, okay? It might look better, of course, because we have a lot of native HDR games that have black level rays. So if you're kind of fixing that, it might look better. And in some cases, it might look even perfect. Okay. But so far, based on my testing, this is not the solution for native HDR. And it makes sense that it is not. This is very clearly fixing this problem that we have on Windows 11. And that's it. This is all we are fixing. This. This Peter's Wise sRGB that Windows is enforcing over content that is Gamma 2.2. And what this is doing is this is transforming that. So you get the Gamma 2.2 content looking the way it should look. Okay? Of course, the way it should look SDR is just... SDR, <laughs> but you get what I'm saying. In terms of the visibility near black, this is the way it should look. And it looks a lot better than SDR, okay? Give it a try. So let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you have any questions.